Do you love meetings? When you hear the letters PD paired together like PB and J, do you get all warm and fuzzy inside? Whether you love or hate professional development, it is a big part of the world of education. In today's video, I'm going to share some tips for making the most of professional development this summer. Stay tuned. Rock stars, and welcome back to Miss Shipley's Classroom. I'm Farah, and here at Miss Shipley's Classroom, I strive to bring you tips and strategies that you can take into your classroom to make your teacher life a little easier. And this video is no exception. In today's video, we're going to be sharing some tips and strategies for making the most of professional development this summer or any time that you're having to sit through a professional development. If the letters PD make you shudder to your bones, this video will help you make more out of your professional development experience. If, on the other hand, you're already breaking out your best pen to take notes, find some great tips to get the most out of professional development for teachers, whether it's in your school or at a conference. Professional development is the act of attending meetings and workshops to gain knowledge on new strategies, technology, and more in the world of education. There are two different types of professional development you will encounter in your teaching career, mandatory and teacher chosen. When you have to go to a mandatory professional development, there are a few strategies you should use to make sure you are getting the most out of your time. The first step is to stay positive. I know, whenever there is a service day, we all hope our administrator will say, it's a work day, spend time in your room getting done what you need to get done. If that's the directive, awesome. But make sure you make a practical to-do list, giving yourself small rewards for completing tasks. Tasks like organize the top of my desk, change the calendar, you name it, and remember to give yourself brain breaks. Avoid going into the teacher's lounge and getting sucked into a conversation that will not help you get the things on your to-do list done. Give yourself some time to visit with other teachers, especially if you have a team of some sort that you work with but make sure you don't get stuck gossiping. If you have a speaker coming in for training, make sure you stay positive about the subject matter. I know at times it feels like some of the trainings brought in are ineffective or boring, but having a negative mindset does not help. So to make the most of the trainings you are in, make sure that you stay positive and find a purpose before the professional development begins. Be the positive Polly or Paul throughout the training. Volunteer. Take notes of ideas you find interesting or want to know more about and ask good questions. The next step to making the most of professional development is to bring the necessary materials. If you know ahead of time that you're going to have a work day, make sure you plan ahead and bring some of these kind of items. A fun treat, some great music, your favorite pins, materials to help you redesign your bulletin board, anything that will help you stay focused. For mandatory professional development meetings, you'll want to make sure you bring some things as well. A fun treat. This is always a needed item. A writing utensil or two, some paper, your computer, a charger, an agenda or day planner in case you get an assignment for a future meeting date. Please notice your cell phone was not on either of those lists. A cell phone is very distracting and sometimes we turn into our students and have to sneak a snap during a presentation. Don't be that person. Be the positive person. Be present in the training. Step three is to always reflect. Whether you had a day in your room during in-service or training session, take a few minutes before you pick up the kids or get home and reflect on the day. Some questions you might want to ask yourself include, what was the purpose of today? What is one thing I can use from today? How can I use this information and grow in my educational career? Reflecting on the day is always a good idea, but especially if you are not a professional development day lover. 
Mandatory professional development or in-service days can be long, but make sure you stay focused because they would not happen if it wasn't necessary. In addition, these days can also be big on data and data is always important to drive us to be better teachers. One of the big reasons people attend workshops and conferences is to renew their teaching certificates. Instead of going to a workshop or conference just to get the CEUs or the grad credit, select conferences and workshops that spark your interest as an educator. What are some factors that you might wanna consider before you select your professional development? Here are just a few. You might wanna select a conference based on the content and the grade level. Knowing what the conference is going to be about is super important. If you are struggling finding classroom strategies that work, then a conference about this topic is perfect for you. Finding a topic that is important to you will help make the professional development more meaningful. While looking at the content is important, you need to also make sure you look at the grade level. The classroom strategies you would employ in an elementary classroom are different than those in a secondary classroom due to the very structure of the school. There are times that you seriously just don't have time, but you want to get some professional development in. If time or scheduling isn't working out for you, try to get into an online workshop. Online workshops are often available throughout the year and are usually set up like an online class. For some of these classes, you will need to watch a webinar and post on a discussion board or write up as a reflection. For others, there will be a book study, which can include discussion boards, quizzes, and reflections. If you are someone who works well on your own, having online professional development is great. Even if you don't work well alone, you can still do an online course or book study, but invite your friends. We usually get the best information from the people around us. Make sure you're taking time to reflect. There are so many great professional developments out there. As I look back and reflect on preparing for this video, I realize that even though I sometimes cringe at the letters PD, it is one of the most powerful tools out there. Through professional development, you can learn about different classroom strategies, new technology, or even more subject specific information. Whether you love or hate professional development, it is part of the educational world. So while you might hate going through the process, bring a little treat Put your positive pants on and pull something great out of no matter what the subject is. But most importantly, take time to reflect. Thank you for joining us here today, Edgy Rockstars. And don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure and turn your notifications on so that you get notified when we go live or upload a new video here on the channel. Also, if there is a topic that you would like to hear in the future, be sure and leave a comment down below and let us know. And we will make sure to do our best to get that information to you. Guys, keep being educational rock stars, and I will see you in the next video.